Hi everyone, Niklas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can set up the Eclipse IDE for XPages development and how you can use it to, do, to debug your own extensions or the XPages extension library. Just before I do that I want to set some background and give you some context. So some time ago I blogged about different types of XPages developers. Um, for example, there are developers who use basically only the drag and drop capabilities in Domino Designer um, and simple actions and so forth to more or less assemble applications. Then another type of developers are the developers who also use Domino Designer, um, including drag and drop and simple actions, but also um, they write um, server-side JavaScript code, client-side JavaScript code, and maybe also Java code within this database. And then that there's a third type of developers um, who are developers who extend the XPages functionality and extend the Domino server basically um, by writing OSGI um, bundles using the Eclipse IDE. And this is really what this video is all about. So um, again, what I want to show next is how to set up the um, Eclipse IDE for XPages development. Now, um, I start here basically from scratch. All I've done so far is to download five different zip files here and I've extracted these five zip files um, right here. So let me show you where I got them and what these um, um, files are. So first of all, or the first thing you really need is the Eclipse IDE. And you can get it here from eclipse.org downloads and then you can um, you need to pick this one here, Eclipse for RCP and RAP developers. So this one I've downloaded. Now the next thing you need is um, <coughs> a project here from OpenNTF. It's called XPages SDK for Eclipse RCP and um, the main parts have been implemented by Nathan Freeman um, and this is really the core of the XPages SDK. Um, this file here, it's an update site that you need to um, install into your IDE and it um, helps you to set up the um, development, uh, development environment very easily. There is another um, release in that same project that is called debug plugin that has been provided by David Taib and Dan O'Connor. Um, at this point these are separate um, um, things that you need to download. At some point hopefully they will be merged. So you need to, to download these two. And uh, what else? Then we also need the um, extension library <coughs> because I want to use it as an example for um, a library that you can debug from your Eclipse IDE. And in order to um, use this library, you need to use another Java runtime, uh, which you can and have to download here from um, IBM Developer Works. And the version that you need is the one here, IBM Development Package for Eclipse. So let me open this one, then you click on Development Package for Eclipse. And now you need to choose an older version, um, this one here, 2.1.1, because that one comes with the, the right Java runtime version 5.0 that, that we're going to need. Okay, so after you have downloaded all of these um, five files, um, as I said, um, you need to extract them, which is what I've done here. Um, now the next thing is we can launch, um, where is it? We can launch the um, Eclipse IDE. So I do this now, Eclipse, it's the first time that I launch it. So I say run. And this is all live now, so that's why it takes a little bit longer. Now the first time you also need to choose the workspace. And I'm just going to put that in a subdirectory here of my Eclipse um, directory. And I'm going to call it workspace and I use it as default. Okay, so now Eclipse comes up for the first time, which is why I will see here this um, welcome page. Let me just resize it a little bit so that you can see everything. <coughs> okay, so now the first thing I need to do is to install the SDK from Nathan. So what I do is to say help install new software and then I need to point it I hope you can see it here. I need to point it to my um, <coughs> local directory, um, downloads, 
and it's this one here. Okay, so I say OK. And now I need to uncheck here the group so that I actually see it. So once I've done that, I click on Next right here. Uh, it's calculating some requirements now and dependencies, which will just take a second. Oh, actually, a little bit longer, unfortunately. Okay, so this took a little bit longer than in the previous attempts, uh, which is why I cut it, cut the video. Um, but now I can say uh, Next. I can uh, accept the agreement, license agreement, and the software is being installed. Okay, okay, and I need to restart my Eclipse environment. So the next thing I need to do is to configure a couple of things. So in order to do that, I go under Preferences. And now there is this new entry here, XPages SDK, and I need to define um, the directories here. So let me just do this. Data, notes data, this one is correct. And uh, this one is data, domino data. Now, for some reason, these entries are only um, updated the next time I open this up. So let me just do this to double check. Yeah, okay, so now it has picked up the right directories. Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to um, 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 configure the Java runtime, or in fact, this has already been done. Um, so these two Java runtimes have been um, defined here and created, and now all I need to do is to pick the right one here, xpages notes JRE. And the last thing I need to do is I need to set the target environment or target platform of my plugin development environment. Um, so what I need to do is to say add and then I can choose one of these templates to, which makes it really easy. So I uh, pick notes install target and now it um, finds all the plugins directly and sets the right passes. Okay and all I have to do is to say um, finish and I need to pick it here, select it as the active one. And now I say OK and I'm basically done. So that's how easy it has been to set up this um, development environment in just a couple of steps. Um, now what I want to do next is to install another plugin um, which you need in order to debug live on your Domino server. Um, so again I go to help, um, install new software, uh, and I go to my download directory again. Here's the debug plugin. Here's the update site. I say OK. I pick this one. Yes, accept the license. And now that plugin is being installed. OK. And again, I need to restart. Okay, so, um, and as in the first step, I also need to do some configuration here. So there is a new entry Domino OSGI debug toolbar, uh, tooling. Um, <clears throat> and here I need to define the location of my Domino server, which is correct in this one needs to be again data domino data. Would be good if at some point the debug plugin could share the same information um, than the rest of the SDK. So now I, all I need to say is to, um, or all I need to do is to click here OK and I'm basically done. So what I want to show next is how you can actually use this IDE and debug um, ex your own extensions or the XPages extension library in this example. So what I want to do is I want to um, um, use a sample here, the um, social business uh, or the social en enabler. I want to invoke a function um, and show you how to debug it. Now, when I do a refresh, um, nothing happens at this point because, well, first of all, my server hasn't been launched, but then also my extension library hasn't been installed yet. And I just want to show this real quick. Um, so this is my... This is my uh, Domino subdirectory, Domino data, 
workspace. And here's where you would put or where you could put the plugins of the extension library um, if you just want to um, install the binaries. But I just wanted to show you that these directories are empty and we're going to use the sources and the plugins from the IDE. Um, the other thing though that I need to do in order to allow um, allow me to debug from the Eclipse IDE is to configure my Domino server um, for debugging and what I need to do is to insert these two um, lines here in my nodes INI of the Domino server. Um, so this for example is the port um, and and that's pretty much it. Now the next thing I need to do is to actually import the Eclipse um, the extension library into my Eclipse IDE. So I've already extracted here the download file from OpenNTF, but I also need to extract another file here, which is the um, the zip file that contains all the sources. Uh, and I've already done this, which is what you see here. Okay, so now I go into my Eclipse IDE and do an import. And I pick general existing projects into workspace and I pick here my uh, the directory that I just showed you. Okay, and here are all my plugins and features. Now I don't really need the features, um, which is why I could um, disable them. So just do this and I leave the other ones and I um, choose copy projects into workspace. Now all of these plugins and, um, and features are installed or imported into my workspace. Takes a little while. Okay, done. So now it's um, the IDE is building the workspace. Now all of the plugins, or almost all of the plugins, could be compiled correctly, um, except of these two here, relational and the other one, OAuth, which is a dependency. And there is a good reason for it that unfortunately I forgot, Phil Rion told me many times, um, but for some reason you need another Java runtime here to compile these, this one here, and that's the runtime that I talked about earlier briefly, the one that you can download from IBM Developer Works. So what I need to do now is to add a new Java runtime here um, and go to my download directory and here is the package that I downloaded and I need the subdirectory I say OK and click Finish and now I need to select it as the active one. And the other thing I need to do is I need to change the compiler settings here from 1.6 to 1.5 and now when I say OK um, a full rebuild is done and now hopefully all plugins can be compiled. Okay good. So now the next thing I want to do is to um, to actually launch my Domino server. Um, so where is it? It's here. So what I can say is uh, load HTTP <coughs> and what you will see now is um, a warning here that the remote Java debugging is enabled which is what we just um, configured via these two nodes INI settings. Um, so now when I go to my test page here uh, and I try to um, open it. I need to log in. And now it tells me that it couldn't find the extension library. Why is that? Well, because, um, as I said earlier, the directory here is empty, the subdirectory of the Domino data directory, because we haven't installed the binaries. We have imported the extension library as sources now here in the Eclipse IDE, but we haven't told Domino yet to use it. Okay, so that's the next thing we need to do. So I go to run um, and then debug configurations. And now I use this um, OSGI framework, create a new one. Um, and here is a new um, option now where I can select Domino OSGI framework. And I also want to start um, set the auto start to false. Okay, so now I can select which of my plugins from the workspace I want to run on my Domino server and I want to run all of them and I deselect the target platform here. And now when I say debug, 
um, it asks me for the directories which are the ones that I um, defined earlier so I say OK and now it tells me that a new file PDE launch INI has been created um, and if I want to run the Domino server I need to delete it so let me show you quickly uh, what's in this file um, so the file you find here on the, under the Domino data um, Domino workspace directory and in this file um, the Domino server is essentially told to use other plugins or additional plugins from my um, from my Eclipse workspace. Okay, so that that's all that is required to do that. Now, when I say um, refresh, uh, I need to restart my server one more time. Oops, restart task HTTP. Um, I should be finally able to bring up the application that requires the extension library. Okay, so that's done. I do a refresh, need to log in again. And my application comes up. Now the page that I've picked here is a page that calls a REST service using the social enabler. Um, it calls a REST service on, the, um, on Dropbox. And it's very easy. It's just um, you know one line of code. Get the currently authenticated user or the the user profile of the current user. Uh, so let's take a look how that looks like in Designer. So this is the same X page that you just saw. Um, and essentially, um, a Dropbox service Java class is invoked here, and that class is defined in my Eclipse IDE. And then a method is called um, which is called get. On that service which executes the actual get request and then the response is some JSON um, and we um, display here the the email address um, that is um, part of that JSON. So what I want to do now is um, I want to debug it so what I need to do is to select this class go into my Eclipse IDE now there is this magic trick um, control shift T and there's all, you can also invoke the dialog somewhere over the menus and when I paste in my um, class name I find it here and I can open it and this is the class that I want to debug my drop um, Dropbox service now this one has very short names so that you can easily use it from JavaScript there's the actual service with a fully qualified and longer name so I go there by just clicking F3 and this one doesn't contain too much functionality either so I just say F3 again to go to the base class and here should be my get method somewhere um, where is it get so here is where I set a debug point um, and that's pretty much it now the last thing I need to do is to actually um, enable debugging now on my Domino server so I go in here again under debug configurations and this time I create a new instance here under remote Java application so I say new and all I need to define here is the local host and the port number and this is the same port number that I defined in the notes INI and I say debug and that's it now when I go back to my application and um, invoke this action um, I get this dialog here that asks me whether I want to switch to my debug perspective in Eclipse. I say yes and now it brings me back into my Eclipse IDE um, and right here I'm in my get method where I set the debug point. So now I can use the Java debugger here and navigate through it and check whatever I want. So in this case I just say continue and when I go back I can actually see my um, username in Dropbox right here. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, what I showed you was how to, um, to set up the Eclipse IDE for XPages development using um, Eclipse, the SDK from OpenNTF, as well as a debug plugin. And I also demonstrated how easy it is to import the extension library and um, debug the extension library. And that's the same mechanism that you can use to debug your own um, extensions. Thanks a lot for your attention.